today, ladies and gentlemen. The San Francisco Shock looking for their third championship with a revamped team at Dallas. Finally getting to the ultimate stage in the Overwatch League after years of work for their first title. and Sparkle, Hanbin, Fjorda, and Geo. I think no one can disagree with me when I make the claim that Hanbin might well be the best Junker Queen in the world. He dashes back to safety, rampage to fall by Hanbin, chases down for the Astro, disappears in the shadows, for the Axis down, the few members of the Gladiators, the champions of the kickoff flash in the mid-season madness slain by the Dallas Fuel. The Summer Showdown tournament is rapidly drawing to its conclusion. And here in the Jewel of the North, the best in the West renew their rivalry once more. And the Dallas Field are losing control of this defense. The shot constantly pressuring his ungodly connection there with that rampage. And Hardbin, somehow, he's come up with the goods again. It's taking a lot of damage. Proper also pretty low and Sparkle. He gets rid of Proper. Here comes the play and the endless waltz of the Dallas Fuel now. Now's the time to show it. Violet's down to the front line there. No chance for a beat again. It's all falling apart. Proper removed by Sparkle and it's all Dallas all the time. Oh. And we're in overtime. Four players left for the San Francisco Shock and they're dropping like flies. Here in the frigid north, it's all covers. The Dallas Fuel extinguished the competition. Take a bow. Your summer showdown. Champions! So after the summer showdown was finished, you know, obviously that was a great win and great result for us, but we knew we weren't done. You know, we had the Countdown Cup coming up and then playoffs. So just like last year, we had clinched number one seed in the West after Countdown Cup, but not only that, we clinched number one in the entire league. So going into playoffs, we knew that there was going to be a major patch, right? You had Kiriko coming in, you had a bunch of like different balance changes where like, you know, Genji was getting nerfed, you know, Hanbin Zari was getting nerfed. It almost felt like a nerf to the fuel. It basically felt like, like, hey, fuel, you guys need to slow down. Here's all these nerfs to all your favorite heroes. I don't think it's the most important thing. It's the most important thing. If you're playing a good team, what will you change in the future? 빨리 빨리 적응을 해야 된다고 생각하고 뭐 별로 신경 안 썼고 거기에 맞게 따로 준비했고 그래서 별로 뭐 일단 패치 노트를 봤을 때 솔직히 제가 주로 사용하던 윈스턴이 좋아지진 않았어요. 근데 이제 키리코라는 영웅을 썼을 때 윈스턴이 좀 효율이 좋은 것 같아서 써봤고 근데 다른 팀이랑 다 해봤을 때 윈스턴 서, 처음에 다들 잘안 쓰더라고. 근데 거기서 이제 자리아를 쓸지 아니면은 메인 탱 윈스턴을 쓸지 계속 찾다가 이제 윈스턴을 쓰고 나서 이제 아 이거는 
몰입에 타다 생각 들어서 그렇게 하니까 이제 다른 팀들도 다 미스턴을 하기 시작하더라고. Everybody agreed that Winston was just by far the strongest tank to have in the game. Now it's like, do you have your MVP candidate? Basically, the guy who's been playing all the time, play Winston in Hanbin, or do you have someone that is, in my opinion, the best Winston in the game? It's tough though because obviously Hanbin brings a lot of leadership and everything else, just as Fearless does. But it's just different, right? It's hard seeing someone that was so dominant in the last few matches just not be able to play. But the amount of support also Hanbin gave to Fearless was uh, amazing. And he he basically said to me, he's like, well. Fearless is number one Winston, but I'm probably number two Winston. So it's so funny um, that Hanbin was still very confident, and to be honest, I think he could get there as well. The 분위기 자체는 다 좋았죠. 저희가 연습도 잘 되고 있었고 이제 뭐 누굴 만나도 다 이, 이길 수 있다 생각하고 있었기 때문에 그냥 뭐 분위기 좋았던 것 같아요. 어차피 빨리 경기하고 싶은 그런 분위기. 네. 뭐 기대라고 하면 아무래도 저희가 다 이기고 이제 우승하는 거겠죠. 뭐 그것만 바라보고 갔던 것 같아요. So, I mean, from where we've been before to now, it's such a crazy improvement. And, you know, I knew it was like, okay, we're the best team in the world right now, you know, on paper, but now we need to show it come playoffs. The flight's been delayed. There's rain. That's about it. Dun, dun, dun. I like your, uh, your jacket, Matt. Hey, you can get a dallasfield.com slash store. Maybe. I don't actually know. So going into Anaheim, I mean, this is the first time I've been a part of a Grand Finals, like playoffs in person. It kind of gave me, oh, let's see, season one vibes and the fact that like everybody was there. Uh, this is the first time for sure that we've had all the teams from APAC and NA under one roof, right? And it's, it's a really cool feeling. We were there a couple of days scrimming, practicing, you know, so going into it, like the guys were super focused, super excited to get on stage, but we did have a little bit more time than others to watch and see who we were going to pick. The two knives might be paving the way for Fate's ever to take Shy down. Alfie is in there though, and he got a dead loss. Oh. There's no coming back from that. The Shanghai Dragons sent careening into the lower bracket. It's a clean 3 0 for the Hangzhou Spark. I didn't think it was going to be a 3 0, but. Yeah. Atlanta wins a 3-2 victory, close one, and then Houston win 3-0. Spicy, I know. Yeah, those first matches were crazy. I knew there was going to be some upsets, like I, I predicted Hangzhou beating Shanghai, even though I think Shanghai are a great team and they're always a scary team. Probably the most shocking for me was Atlanta losing to Mayhem. I think Mayhem's a great team, but I always think Atlanta's a scary playoff team, but it was a lot of fun upsets and uh, we were really excited to see who uh, Rush wanted to pick going into the next stage. Dallas of course got the first pick and they did uh, drum roll pick the Hangzhou Spark. That is a surprising pick from me. My bracket is broken. <laughs> I went to Rush and asked him, I was like, hey, who are we picking? He was like, mm, maybe Houston. I was like, gosh, the madman's gonna do it. Let's see it, about for Texas so early. Um, and then just out of the blue, maybe like 15 minutes later, he's just like, you know what, Hangzhou. And he just went with that. And I was like, why? He was just like, meh, just because. It was just kind of like, I don't think he cared. My guidance was all good for me. So I didn't really care about it. But I didn't know how to score it. I didn't know how to score it. First, the team play was that I didn't know how to score it at that time. So I just did it and just did it. That just to me instilled such confidence in our team where it was like, we don't care how well they did. We had the team that could beat anyone here. How, how are you feeling going into tomorrow? First match. I, I'm nervous. I can't sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> He's yeah, nervous? I'm nervous. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And the fear said, okay, I make a monkey get. So. You hear that? Monkey Gap. Winston Gap. So we'll see you tomorrow.
the Dallas Fuel versus the Hangzhou Spark. First seed versus the 12th seed. The Dallas Fuel only used their Primal and their Beat to come back in. The Spark are left with three Ultimates, but it doesn't matter. The Dallas Fuel end up picking off Alfie. Whose rate could be rather big, but that Death Boss is getting so much damage now. No immediate kills, but Phyllis and Shio are there to clean up. Alfie is dead. The Hangzhou Spark a uh, history in this first map, it feels like. The confidence was just oozing from our team. We were not scared of anyone. We truly thought that if we play our game and play it to the way we can, we we're going to beat everyone in this tournament. You know, Spark had some good moments. I think Shy really is a fantastic talent and you can't always keep him down. So, you know, they took a map early and then uh, after that, we kind of just adapted our play style and Fearless kind of just took over and made sure Shy could not play the game. This is not perfectly juggling Shy away from the fight as he takes him down. Gushway also falls, and that will be it. Not a full completion, but Dallas Fuel will take the dub. Three and one. The confidence, like, and then the confidence is too much. I feel like I've already won it. 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 I've already won it has been 1,292 days since the Dallas Fuel and the Seoul Dynasty faced off against one another. So going into the next one, many people thought this was a grand finals preview. You know, we felt pretty confident that the Western teams were overall better than the APAC teams this year. Profit is dead. There's a couple of meters to go, and the Dallas Fuel are going to ignore the beat, ignore the dynasty. They've still got ults to spare. You could save them for the grand finals, Dallas, because if you're playing like this, you're headed straight there. They they couldn't do anything. It, it was just pure dominance, and I think that really shell shocked so. No worries, son. A three over the fuel. Whatever the cop, whatever the meta, whoever the opponent, the Dallas fuel continue to burn bright and dominate the upper bracket. Really put a big statement out and uh, kind of clean video and moving forward to the winners finals. Sparkle is so good. I know. I'm best for you. What do you think about that, Eddie? Eddie! It's, it's, it's yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Just <laughs> Yeah, he is. Yeah, he sucks. He sucks. Uh, the guys look really good today. So, all of them play the lights out. So, yeah, we have uh, secured top three at the World Championship, but uh, obviously, the job's not finished. But I think they're really confident, they're really happy. You know, they're, they're excited for the next one, right? I think we're really excited to play on stage again with a bunch of fans. You know, we were really excited. I mean, when we first like stepped in to see our walkthrough and how we were going to set up, the stage was so cool. 그렇게 큰 경기장에서는 해본 적이 없어서 기대가 되는데 그때 천장을 보는데 어 너무 높아가지고 좀 무서웠어. 처음에 일단 와 경기장 너무 커가지고 그리고 제가 좀 어렸을 때이 오버워치를 처음 이제 접했을 때가 아 내가 이런 큰 경기장에서 경기를 하는 날이 오게 되는구나 살짝 제 로망이었는데 꿈을 항상 가지고 있었는데 그 꿈을 오늘 이룰 수 있게 되는 기회가 온것 같아서 너무 행복했던 것 같아요 그 올라가는 그 순간에 긴장보다는 너무 행복했고 행복은 이제 잠시 이제 이겨보자 라는 생각으로 갔던 것 같습니다 The battle for Texas in the winners' final. Like, what? What a pleasure! What a treat! You, you know what the crazy thing about me with this matchup is? We were saying no one can beat Dallas Fuel on this land right now, and then I sort of had that moment of, if anyone could do it, it would be the Houston Outlaws. Every time they played on land this year, the Houston Outlaws have beaten the Dallas Fuel. So yeah, we uh, find out our opponent was going to be the Houston Outlaws. It was a battle for Texas in the winners' finals in front of a live crowd. A lot of people thought Houston were going to win just based off of their performances over the year with us. And this year specifically, they had our number. 솔직히 다른 팀은 다 걱정이 많이 안 됐지만 저희가 다 이길 수 있을 거라 생각했었지만 이 휴스턴 이제 경기 시즌 때 맨날 휴스턴이랑 경기했는데 맨날 져가지고 약간 PTSD 약 같은 느낌으로 이제 아 휴스턴 만나면 살짝 
두렵고 약간 질것 같았는데 저희가 뭐한 번씩 그냥 뭐 풀리고 때 지는 거는 뭐질수 있는데 뭐 그런 건 크게 신경 안 쓰기 때문에 어차피 중요한 경기의 시기고 근데 솔직히 휴스턴 올라오길래 저는 굉장히 좋아했어요 그래서 그냥 어? 휴스턴이 올라왔네? 어? 이건 무조건 이기겠다 그렇게 생각했어요 It wasn't like they beat us. I think it was more the fact that we just threw that lead away. It should have been 2-0. And it's, it's maps like that, that you don't feel that you're inferior to that team, and you know you just kind of beat yourselves. Those are maps that you're not typically worried about. 처음에 그런 생각이 들었어가지고 이제 첫 번째 경기 지고 애들이 많이 막 흔들리고 멘탈 살짝 나갔었던 것 같아요. 근데 저희가 그럼에도 불구하고 연습을 너무 많이 했고 너무 해온 게 많았기 때문에 그걸 다 잊고 그냥 다 연습한 대로만 하니까. They were ready to go. They, they knew they were the better team. But going to the next couple of maps, like it just wasn't close. Edison and out of flight! Have the absolute stuffing knocked out of them. Not even a Pelican play can save them now. Pelican has to rate the way. Here's the Katsune rush and creative is down. Pelican! And the Dallas Hill absolutely stop the outlaws on King's Row. They've got a lot of offensive tools as well. And Edison ain't a tool, he's an absolute weapon. And the outlaws are gonna get absolutely kicked out of this map. That'll do it! Now they have to fight it elsewhere. Anderson! It's all too easy. There's two minutes left in the round. The Outlaws are hanging on by their fingernails. Seven seconds left. All that separates the Outlaws from here. And a berth in the lower bracket. A sparkle said no! I'm flushing you down the drain! Dallas Fuel are done with the Outlaws by all appearances. Lastro's forced away from the bot. And we have our first finalist! It was an electric match because there was so much history on it. A lot of people thought Houston were going to win just based off of their performances over the year with us. I will say this, um, our, our fellow Texas team, I'm not going to lie, they had a good run, uh, but we had to stop it there. You know, at the end of the day, like, you know, we had to show them, like, come playoffs when it really matters. This is when the, the big boys come out to play and we really did show that we were just the better team overall. Yeah, <laughs> well, 아, 끝났다 하고 딱 일어났는데 생각해보니까 저희가 이제 그랜드 파이널을 가는 거였잖아요. 순간 벙 쪄가지고 그런 생각을 못 하고 있었는데 갑자기 그러니까 너무 행복하더라고요. 그냥 아 우리 진짜 그랜드 파이널 갔구나 결승전 갔구나. Making the grand finals appearance was our goal. It was the whole reason we had built this team. Having come so close last year with placing third, I think definitely left everybody feeling like, look, we got to do it this time. And locking in that grand finals appearance for the first time ever was something. Incredible. Abe, how was the match? Good. Good? Yeah. What happened? Just that we are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Got off the hump of being the, the Houston Outlaws, because we were apparently struggling with them all this year. But uh, yeah, we won. Looked a little rocky at the start, but uh, Eddie's son became Eddie Dad. Double. Absolutely. I dare say Eddie's son was lighting up the building. Eddie Dad? Eddie Dad. To crown a champion of the OH League 2022 season, it's finals days, everyone. Coming to you live from the ACC Arena in lovely Anaheim, California. The crowd is hyped. The players are ready. And today, they play for it all. Welcome to... So going into grand finals, you know, we started to see Houston battle out versus Shock, so we didn't know who's technically going to win. Honestly, we were okay with either opponent. One, we'd either have a battle for Texas, or two, we'd have a match against the Shock, who have won two championships. I talked to Rush a bit and asked him who wants to play in the finals, and he was like, Shock. Shock? I don't have a team. I wanted to play the Shock's win, because I wanted to play the Shock's win. Dallas and Houston, people are still upset. But Dallas and Shock's win? Oh, it's a little different. It's kind of like cementing on like a legacy. 
and um, making it to the Grand Finals, doesn't matter who we played at that point, right? We were focused and we had our eyes on the trophy, for sure. He used it, but Dante's completely denying the space. That's right, take way too much damage. Merritt oh. goes down, the San Francisco shot by pushing on forward. Striker with a 2K and a 3-0 for the shot. They take the win and see themselves facing the fuel in the Grand Final. As far as they make it. Kickoff clash. Mid season madness. Summer showdown, countdown cup, and now the 2022 Overwatch League playoffs. All obstacles designed to churn out the very best of the best here in the Overwatch world. And Matthew, we finally have them. What a pleasure yes. it is to be here to preside over our fifth Overwatch League Grand Final. The shock in the field, go at it once more. That place was packed, you know, like 6,000 people or whatnot, and you could just tell the tension was in there. You see the trophy there, and just setting up, you could just feel like, okay, this is it. This is where we're meant to be. This is what we've been working for. And seeing those guys lined up there with all the fans screaming was, you know, kind of a dream come true. Actually, people are a lot of people. A little bit of a fear. A little bit of a fear. A little bit of a fear. 일단 제가 결승전에 갔다 온게 사실 좀막안 믿기기도 했지만 막상 이제 그 경기 당일날 다가오니까 체감이 막확 들더라고요. 이번 연도 이제 마지막 경기에다가 이번에 우승을 정말 할수 있을 것 같아가지고 들어가면서 아무 씨 이제 부를 때 그냥 자신감이 넘쳤다. 왜냐면은 와 진짜 마지막이구나. 진짜 이겨야겠다 하면서. 제발 오늘만 이기면 우리 처음으로 우승이라고 계속 이걸 마음속으로 외치고 이겨보자 라는 마음으로 이제 올라갔던 것 같습니다. 아 근데 별거 없다. 진짜 진짜 우승할 수 있다 얘들아. 화이팅! 리장 really set the tone, and uh, I think a lot of people were like, okay, we won that first map. It was a close one. There's some crazy plays. Time to go to King's Row, and let's like you know start rolling. You know, keep keep up the momentum we've been doing all stage. But however, shock being shock at this time, they were not going down without a fight. Felix now unsure about how to hit this backline adequately. Popper gonna slide away, and Felix can't chase him down. It's Chio the second on the chopping block, and Popper don't oh. miss. Make it three. Your MVP is turned up. Twelve seconds left in the round. Sparkle has that dead block, but Edison! It's lights out! The Fuel have no choice, throw themselves into the meat grinder and ground as they become! Felix gets a Suzu there, trying to stay alive, but Popper hits another headshot! And the San Francisco Shock have held off the Dallas Fuel! We were able to win it easily, but we were able to win a lot of mistakes. I think I was going to win the king, but I was going to win the king. I was going to win the king. 당황했고 저희가 흔들렸어요. 원래 같으면 좀더좀더 좀더 나갔을 건 나갔다가 이제 들어왔을 건데 선수들이 이제 자기가 여기서 실수하면 이제 큰일 난다라는 그런 이제 마음이 있었던지 지 이제 자기도 모르게 이제 어 이거 이러다 지는 거 아니냐라는 생각이 가, 이제 컸던 것 같은데. Very clean fight. We expect the shot to be good. I mean, Proper was doing proper things the whole whole tournament. They had a great Lord Wrecker run, and uh, they definitely had the kind of proper goal kill strat for sure. But at the same time, like it was back and forth. It was scary. You know, at the back of my mind, I was like, okay, this is looking a little closer. You know, it's best of seven, but either way, it's looking a little closer. Oh no! Sparkle's death blossom. It wilts before the fuel dies. And Dallas are out of options. Are out of time. They're out of players! San Francisco! Take Toronto! 
So we were down 2-1. And at that point, I was like, all right, you know, thank goodness it's a best of seven. We're not a match point just yet. But then we went to push. 그래도 이스페란사만큼은 저희가 좋았던 기억이 너무 많았고 접은 적이 없기 때문에 the three-one meme existed because if we drop one map, as long as we went to push, we're winning that third map. Trying for the overclock. The sound barrier might be a little bit of a wrinkle in that plan, though. He's falls back, and here comes Michael. He'll have his due. There, the fuel are going to go without him. Okay, Tuna Rush now is in play. Striker trying to shut this down quickly, but they back away. Great spacing from Dallas here. Field and Field puts up a bubble. No mistake. Now with a three versus three, and Sparkle surges forward once more. It comes up with the goods, and that'll do it. Dallas even up the series. It was honestly just a work of art of how well they played the last fight. Once they won that map, I was like, all right. We're not, we're not bowing out. We're not getting too nervous. We're not admitting defeat. So winning that, you know, it's tied up 2-2. You know, we're looking good. 이대가 되는 순간 이제 그나마 이제 좀 선수들도 안도를 하고 할만하다라고 생각했죠 좀 다시. And I could tell the stress in our coaches and our players in the dugout. Like we were stressed. Like at this point, we we're like, okay, what do we do here? 그 기본적인 실수를 하고 있었어요 계속. 근데 그거가 선수들 캐치가 늦어가지고 그게 안 풀린 이유가 있었고 그로 인해 상대방한테 이제 각이 열렸는데 제가 계속 말했어요 근데. 그렇게 하면 안 된다고 그 게임 끝나고 아 그러니까 66국도 하기 전까지 분위기가 안 좋았어요. 되게 막 서로 말 많이 했어야 됐는데 살짝 말도 잘안 하고 어쨌든 매치 포인트 때는 너무 걱정됐고 무서웠고 저 트로피를 다, 가지러 이제 달려 나가는 팀이 우리가 아니라 상대편이었을 그 상황을 상상하니까 너무 괴로운 거예요. 그렇게 오랫동안 꿈꿔왔던 무대인데 이렇게 여기서 그냥 매치 포인트에서 딱 져버리지 말고 6세트, 6세트에서 만약에 져버린다면 이제 완전 게임은 지고 이제 죽은 속으로 남는 거니까 팀원들한테도 이제 이번 시즌 마지막이다 최선을 이제 다해서 게임하고 집중해서 7세트까지 꼭 가자 진짜 제발 쫄지 말자고 에디슨 선수가 우리 진짜 할수 있다고 꼭 이기자고 제발 지지 말자 애들하고 필더가 어 쫄지 말자고 자기가 믿으라고 내가 진짜 다 살려준다고 너 오케이 그럼 진짜 하던 대로 그냥 진짜 박을 테니까 진짜 이렇게 지면 안 되겠다 아, 물론 한판 지면 끝이니까 손발이 달달 떨리긴 했는데 <웃음> 그때 진단 생각을 했어 So it was kind of now or never, right? <목소리> That map, Edison just turned it on. Like, Eddie was electric. He poop prop in the dirt, kind of. He was just destroying that whole team. And I don't know what Route 66, apparently Edison's home. Gently here is that is the pick. Striker's got nowhere to go and make it to Edison. Turning the lights out here on Route 66. Spark along the card and we're going all the way. The other teams are all together. 다 같이 초인적인 힘이 그 순간 나왔던 것 같아. 이건 진짜 지면 안 되겠다. And I mean, what what a grand finals it had already been. And to go to a map seven, you can ask for more stress. For the first time in Overwatch League history, a grand finals is going to one final map. Our players and our coaches were kind of confused. We thought we were going to like a Halo map. 
because normally we don't have two push maps in the in the, in the pool. 화물 맵인 줄 알아서 갑자기 애들이 아니야 콜로세오 콜로세오 그래 콜로세오 이런 거예요. 콜로세오? <웃음> 진짜 저희가 밀기의 제왕이잖아요. 저희 델러스가 너무 자신감이 있었고 얘들아 우리 밀기 제일 잘하는 거 알지? 쫄지 말고 그대로 가보자 하면서. 이거 우리를 위한 메타야. 맞아. 우리 위한 경기야 이거는 우리가. This is our bread and butter. Like push is by far our strongest game mode, so our players and our coaches were like, it does not matter, we can beat them for sure. This is the, this is our moment. It's just like back and forth fights, and we started to take the lead a bit. You know, Eddie was starting to pop off again. Again, he was still hitting those shots. Fearless was still jumping in. Fielder was making crazy plays. As we keep going through the map, you know, we're looking good. We're looking like, all right, well, we're starting to run, run away with it. They didn't get the checkpoint. We did. We're pushing. We got over 100 meters. It's looking like it's over. And then Striker just comes in with his TP and just ults four of us. Trying to bring it home, but Striker's found two. A champion for the shot. They've got a sound barrier. Striker for four. 저희가 비트 쓰고 죽은 거예요. 다 죽은 거예요. 근데 그리고 나서 살짝 이제 탭을 눌렀는데 갑분 싼 거예요. 형, 우리 군 별로. 어? 상대 훨씬 많구나. 어? 근데 저희가 생각보다 100m밖에 못 밀어가지고 이거 역전 당할 수도 있겠네 해서. It's about to be overtime spawns. They have a lot to go. 23 seconds. We have seen crazy stuff on this. Who knows in this series of events, the amount of, you know, combat potential that the Shock have had this whole series, you know, the worry did start to creep in. 다 같이 얘들아 끝까지 포기, 아, 집중하자고. 집중하고. 정권 다 있고 상대 어떻게든 공 많이 빼보자 하고 이렇게 그렇게 게임을 하고 And going into the last fight, we were able to like push out, and then re-engage, and then get a bunch of ultimates out and get picks back and forth. Shock did win the fight, and at the time I was thinking, oh my god, they're gonna win. They just got another fight win, and it was so stressful. 마지막에 이제 완전 오버타임 딱 끝나기 직전에 근데 이제 화물 상대 밀고 있잖아요. 상대가 이제 세 명인 거예요. 얘네 몇명 없다고 빨리 가자고 그래가지고 저랑 그들이랑 먼저 가서 저는 그런 건 진짜 안 쫄거든요. 어차피 그런 그냥 서로 탱커끼리 힘써 자신 있어가지고 어떻게 아무 어떻게 봐도 이길 수 있다는 생각밖에 안 드는 거예요. 그래서 진짜 약간 그냥 화물만 잡을 생각이었는데 의수경이 루시고 코라더니 루시고 잡더라고요. 그래서. 오 뭐야 이러면서 이긴다라는 걸 알았어요. 갑자기 가슴이 벅차오르면서 눈물이 막 나올라는 거예요. 그냥 눈물도 나고 울고 막 계속 울고 너무 행복해하고 소리 지르고 어좀 신기했어요. 맨날 생각만 했던 거지 진짜 우승하니까 뭔가 좀 현실감이 없다 해야 되나? 그래서 좀 벅쳤어요 많이. <목소리> 막 이제 트로피로 걸어가는 그 순간이. 발이 너무 가벼운 거예요. 와 날아갈 수 있었을 것 같아요. 날개 달렸을 것 같아요 그때는. 트로피 올렸을 때도 그냥 약간 이번 년도 약간 열심히 해서 보상 받은 느낌? 그런 느낌? 이제 옆에 팀원들이 있으니까 팀원들이 있으니까 너무 잘했다 생각을 하면서 이제 살아왔던 기분 중에서 아마 제일 좋았을 것 같고. 이 순간만큼 우리가 주인공이고 너무 그냥 이 지금 말로 설명할 수 없을 정도로 행복했었어요. 그리고 그때의 전율은 잊지 못할 것 같아요. 제가 죽을 때까지. 저는 super happy. We're seeing all the confetti going everywhere. You know, everybody's freaking out. Everybody starts running up on stage. And then I notice to my left is Rush. And he's got his like hands down like this. He's looking down at the ground. 
And I went to see him, I was like, hey, are you okay? And he was in tears. And I was like, Rush, hey, let's go. Come on, it's all right, let's go. And he was like, no, I can't. I was like, 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 해왔던 이제 그 길이 괜찮았고 선수들도 괜찮았고 다 같이 열심히 해서 우승했기 때문에 되게 좋았던 것 같아요. 너무 좋았죠. I was like, no, you're coming. So I almost like pull him out to get on stage, and uh, you know he ran out in front of me, and we got to the stage finally. And like you could just see every player jumping around. Their emotions were. Incredible! Like everybody, almost everyone was crying. Everybody was like, just couldn't believe it. Like we finally made it, and um, man. 팀원들이 이제 다 달려와서 다 같이 이제 마주쳤을 때 팀원들이 다 울고 있는 거예요. 저도 울고 있는데, 다 울고 있는데, 다좀 약간 다 감정이 복차 복차오르는 순간이길래 저도 그때 눈물을 약간 찔끔 흘린 다음에 감독님이랑 포옹도 하고 이제. You could tell how much it meant to them, and you could tell. How much it meant to this whole organization because we had been through a lot. We've had ups and downs throughout seasons, and to culminate, you know, five years now with a championship win in probably the strongest competition there ever has been in Overwatch League because every year it gets better. Like I said, it's hard to kind of put into words, but I, I can't be more proud than of our whole team and organization. We worked so damn hard. It was incredible, and seeing all those guys, I, 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 I don't know. I've had a lot of big moments, but that one does nothing comes close. Nothing comes close. It it just doesn't. 제가 오프라인으로 우승이 처음이에요 사실. 온라인으로 이렇게 다른 토너먼트 이렇게 우승을 좀 많이 했었지만 오프라인은 정식으로 많은 사람들 앞에서 우승 그봐 종이 조각에 막 떨어지고 트로피 이렇게 다 들은 게 처음이란 말이에요 사실. 살면서 언제 또 이런 경험을 할수 있을까라는 생각을 가졌었고 아 말로 설명 못 합니다. 그냥 미쳤어요 그냥. here fearless because I want to tell you that you are the grand finals MVP 진짜 발끝에서부터 여기까지 이렇게 막 뭔가 진동이 쫙 하더니 갑자기 눈물이 싹 나오는 거예요. 그래서 진짜 사실 그때 MVP 이런 거 아무 생각도 안 하고 그냥 우승했다는 행복감에 너무 그냥 미쳐 있었거든요. 마음이 막 완전 들떠 있었는데 너무 행복한데 you could tell how much I meant to him, and that MVP trophy was very much well deserved. If I could give MVP to all of them, I would. But uh, yeah, I mean, Fearless deserved it. Playoff 때 그래도 누구보다 열심히 했고 저희 팀 우승을 위해서 열심히 했고 선수들 잘 이끌어 나왔고 그래서 충분히 받을만 했다고 생각합니다. I mean, everybody knows the story at this point, but if you didn't, you know, he's been from the own 40 Shanghai Dragons to now. His career has been nothing but spectacular. I mean. The fact that he's resiliently stayed for what he's gone through, right? He, you know, going back to contenders, having to work back up to Shanghai, then coming to Dallas Fuel. He left Shanghai, that then won the championship without him. And then being benched for most of the season, but still being a great teammate and being able to stick together with the team. And then when come playoffs time, he's ready. He hasn't dropped a beat. You know, he played the Smurfs, he played the Gooshways, and he showed them why he is number one. There was no one even that could touch him. Then he's able. 마음속으로는 아, 내 프로 생활 끝났구나. 이제 진짜 빼도 박도 못 한다. 어떻게 못못 하게 잘안 되겠구나라고 이제 시작, 생각을 했었고, 근데 이제 그럼에도 불구하고 포기를 안 했어요. 그래서 아 포기하지 않으면 이런 순간이 오기도 하는구나. 기회가 오는구나. 그 기회가 왔을 때꼭 잡아야겠구나라는 생각을 했고, 정말 힘들 때도 포기하지 않고 진짜 기다리고 그러니까 계속 열심히 하고 준비하고 있으면은 언제든 기회가 온다. 그 기회가 다시 한번 왔을 때. 잡는 사람이 결국에는 승자인 것 같아요. 네. 저 so wrap up this whole season. We started, we added some people to our roster. We had a lot of people had doubts of certain players joining our roster, you know, could they perform up to the level? And we started off hot. You know, start off really good, you know, go to kick off class. Luke almost unstoppable. Ran into Gladiators, they beat us pretty handily, and it, it sucked. Then we go into Mid-Season Madness. 
the meta changes, we, we didn't adapt properly at that time and just kind of got caught off guard in Hawaii and had a really, really poor result. Going through that, you know, you have two options. You either start going on a downhill trend or you start building up and proving to yourself that you are better and we could be better. And, you know, a new meta hits and we run with it. You know, Junker Queen, Hanbin, it just wasn't even close. We ran through the summer showdown with a championship under our belt then and had our eyes on playoffs. And moving forward there, it, it just felt like everything was clicking, every player was ready to go, everybody was focused, and we knew that if we kept going, we could be champions. It was by far the most intense, crazy grand final Overwatch has ever had. And honestly, in esports history, it's gotta be up there. If we had lost that, that would have been the most biggest heartbreaker ever, but we didn't. As simple as that, we did not, and uh, we won the whole thing. Yeah, we, we did it. So it was kind of surreal. At the end of the day, like we, we got what we came for. Five years in the making, but we finally did it. I th I'm thankful to all our players putting on all the hard work and all our fans for always supporting us because you guys knew we could do it, we knew we could do it, and thankfully we have achieved that goal of bringing the championship back to Dallas. I could tell it meant just as much to you guys as it meant to us, seeing all the videos, seeing all the tweets, seeing a little mosh pit crowd of you guys in the front. And I know how much you guys care about this team and this, this roster and this organization, so I just want to say I thank all of you. And you know, I know it's not always been the greatest of times, but we're at the highest of the highs right now, and um, couldn't ask for a better gift to all of you guys. And I know you guys are all super proud of us, and we can't be happier and thankful that you guys support us through all this. Dallas의 팬분들이 뭐 되게 응원을 많이 해주시고 저희가 오프라인 무대 갔을 때도 되게 응원을 많이 해주, 해주시고 앞으로도 계속 저희 Dallas Fuel 많이 사랑해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 그래서 너무 감사하다고 하고 싶어요. 믿고 맨날 응원해 주신 팬분들 정말 감사합니다. 우선 응원해 줘서 많이 감사하고 감사합니다. <웃음> 진짜 너무 너무 감사합니다. 여러분들이 이게 이 대회가 있는 거고. 네, 저는 그렇게 생각해가지고 정말 여러분들 덕분에 저희 제가 이 자리에 있을 수 있었던 것 같아요. 정말 감사합니다. 이번 시즌에도 좀 불안한 경향이 조금 있었는데 그래도 잘 이겨내고 팀원도 그렇고 이제 응원해주신 분들도 그렇고 고맙습니다. 네. <웃음> 어, 이번 시즌 꾸준없이 응원해주셔서 정말 감사하고 급할 때 진짜 얼마나 저희 팀 좋아하시는지 한번더 깨닫게 돼가지고 진짜 대단한 것 같아요. 그래가지고 감사합니다. 전 솔직히 팬들 좀 대단하다고 생각합니다. 왜냐면 남아주시는 남아있는 팬분들 진짜 감사하다고 생각하고 자 드디어 이제 델러스 표는 우승팀이 되었고 여러분들은 우승팀의 팬이 되었습니다. 하하 정말 축하하네요. 감사합니다. So obviously you know we won the biggest event. We have the trophy in our offices now. But, you know, it doesn't stop here. We're gonna keep going. Hopefully, you know, let's do it again next time. Let's get the two beat, let's get the three beat. Let's do whatever we can because, you know, you guys deserve it. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for all your continued support. I know it'll never stop and uh, we will never stop as well. So once again, thank you guys. We'll always burn blue and uh, can't wait to, to see you guys next season.